السلام علیکم ناؤ وی شیل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی سگنیفیکینس آف انالیٹی آف پرافٹ ہولڈ فار دس آئی وانٹ ٹو پرزینٹ اے اسٹیٹمنٹ آف امام ابن نجیم ہی سیڈ اف اے پرسن ڈز ناٹ نو دیٹ دا پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از دا لاسٹ پرافٹ دین دیٹ پرسن از سرٹنلی ناٹ اے مسلم بیکاز دس بلیف از آف دا نیسسٹیز آف فیتھ نا اکارڈنگ ٹو امام ابن نجیم If a person accepts all their beliefs and performs all the acts of worship but remains ignorant of the belief of the end of prophethood of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then it means that said person has not entered Islam and that said person is a disbeliever until he or she believes and accepts and knows that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last prophet of Allah it means that believing in the prophethood of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is important and believing in the finality of prophethood of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is equally important now i can explain the importance of finality of prophethood with another example if a tree is cared for and watered but its root is chopped can that tree still bear fruit your answer would be no similarly in case of the belief in the end of prophethood it's the root of islam now another example if an attempt is done to erect a building without a foundation can a building be erected without a foundation your answer would be no or if the building is standing but the foundation is removed can the building remain in a standing position not at all not even one floor can stand likewise the belief of finality of prophethood is the foundation of the building of islam if the foundation of the belief of the end of prophethood is removed from the building of islam then this building of islam will also collapse You know the human heart plays a central role in the human body if the body is strong but the heart does not work can a strong body give benefit your answer would be no another example just like human body is useless without the soul if the soul of the belief of finality of prophethood leaves the religion of islam will not survive because the belief of the finality of prophethood is like a soul to a muslim now we will see the sensitivity of the belief of finality of prophethood with another example imam abu hanifa during imam abu hanifa's time a person claimed prophethood and he asked the people to let him and to provide him some opportunity so that he could prove himself as a prophet when this matter reached imam abu hanifa uh, he told everyone and he said if someone asks for proof from this false claimant of prophethood then the person asking for the proof will also become a disbeliever because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there will be no prophet after him when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has clarified this belief and concept then what evidence do you ask from this person who claims to be a prophet now this is a clear and a very precise and a very accurate description of the verse number 40 of surah azab which we will discuss further in the course in the slides that Imam Nifa has just said that why anyone would want to ask a person who is claiming to be a prophet after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a muslim should never do this a muslim is one who has complete faith and belief in the belief of the end of prophethood and whoever has complete faith in the belief of the end of prophethood then he or she will not even ask for a single proof from a liar from the person who is claiming to be a prophet and the one who is asking that said person who has claimed to be a prophet for evidence means that his or her faith is not perfect and he or she has some doubts because asking for evidence is a sign of doubt so just as the one who denies the belief of finality of prophethood is a disbeliever the one who has doubt about the belief of finality of prophethood is also a disbeliever because faith is the name of perfect belief we have discussed it previously that that our aqeeda our belief that our belief has to be 100% we can't have any doubt in them they have to be complete in all aspects to be a muslim so it's very important that our beliefs are 100% correct and accurate in the following slides we will discuss about and see the significance of prophethood in mentioned in quran and hadith